Known for his brilliant wordplay, smooth flow, flashy clothes, iconic eye patch, and being acknowledged as hip hop's greatest storyteller, Slick Rick is one of a kind and will forever be remembered as one of the greats from the golden era. Slick Rick was raised by Jamaican parents in the South London suburb Mitcham and already as a child he was blinded in one of his eyes by a piece of broken glass which made him wear the well-known eye patch. Nonetheless, after living in London for 11 years, Slick Rick and his mother decided to emigrate to the Bronx where he would attend La Guardia High School of Music and Art. Around this age, Slick Rick would also begin to focus more of his energy to hip hop leading him to becoming friends with Dog E. Fresh and together they released two singles, The Show and La Di Daddy. The latter became a worldwide hit and one of the most sampled tracks in the history of hip hop. Yuriki, Ricky, Ricky, can't you see? Somehow your words just hypnotize me. And I just love your jazzy ways. Yo, MC Ring, my love is here to stay. Rick would then after go on to sign with the label Def Jam, releasing his first album, The Great Adventures of Slick Rick, which became one of the first hip-hop albums to go platinum. Everything was going in the right direction for Slick Rick, and due to his lavish lifestyle and recent success, he decided to hire a bodyguard named Mark Plummer. However, it didn't last long until Plummer turned out to be trouble, and Rick let him go. However, Plummer wasn't finished with Rick yet, and he wanted his revenge. Slick Rick took notice of this, and he decided to fight fire with fire, going out to look for him in his car, and finding Plummer outside a store in the Bronx. Rick had no time to waste, and started to fire at him, wounding Plummer and a bystander. Escaping the scene resulted in a high-speed chase with the police, which ended up with Rick crashing into a tree. He pleaded guilty to attempted murder and was sentenced up to 10 years in prison, only serving 5. And not long after, Plummer was shot and killed for an unrelated crime. During his time in prison, he released two albums, The Rulers Back in 1991 and Behind Bars in 1994. But he admits the albums were rush released, being desperate to keep his name relevant and pay the bills. However, after completing his prison sentence, Slick Rick would return stronger than ever with the album The Art of Storytelling, featuring big name rappers like Nas, Outkast, Raekwon, Snoop Dogg, Kid Capri, Cannabis and Dog E. Fresh. And as expected, the album was a success, earning a perfect 5 mix score from The Source magazine. Since then, he hasn't released an album, but he has been touring and he recently released two singles. Midas Touch and Can't Dance a track that ain't got no soul. During his years he has also been involved in the fashion and movie industry, featuring in some movies here and there as well as customizing his own clocks and collaborating with brands such as Puma, Baileys, Urban Outfitters and Old Socks, to name a few. An important thing to note is that Rick has also given back a bunch to the community through different charity events all throughout his career. Slick Rick is a true icon and master in the art of hip hop, with his brilliant wordplay to show for it, telling stories like no other. Hopefully we'll hear more projects from the legend Slick Rick soon, and if you want to take a closer look at Slick Rick, check out the links I've left in the description. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.